from what I can tell, uh, there's not a lot, I'm gonna fuck that up. <laughs> Hey guys, it's X Dan X. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today this is going to be a first uh, type of video on this channel. Uh, this today we're going to be doing uh, an unboxing of a recently released Xbox 360 game, and that is a uh, Arcane Half Three. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what an Arcane Half Three is, it's a two D fighter uh, um, developed by is it X X Mal or X Mew, something like that. It used to be a uh, Yuki uh, Interactive, uh, I think, at one point. Uh, but they changed the name recently. This one's actually put I uh, published in Britain, England, well Europe even, by uh, Arc System Works. Now basically, Arcane Half Three is a two D fighter, and it's very unique in in two uh, two respects. Uh, the first one is all the characters are girls, every one of them. Bit cliche the fact that they're all anime cliche skimpy looking girls, but you know a, a fighter with all girls is you know unique in that sense. Another thing that I, that's really good about it, uh, they've got this thing called a uh, Homan mechanic, and basically. Uh, where every time you do a special combo or you're going for a combo, uh, you can cancel out um, your uh, combo instantly, uh, and basically you get you can move around the map, uh, around around the arena even or even state map stage whatever right. So basically you can move around that. So as more of a strategic depth into how you're gonna fight someone and how you're gonna in introduce your combos and things like that. Uh, it's just the first power release, well, power release of Arcane Heart series in Europe. Uh, it did get released in America too, but it was only uh, to a download only. Uh, Arcane Heart 3 on PS3, I think it was. I don't think it's came out on the 360 over there. And if it has, it hasn't been released, it's only via online download. So uh, yeah, I'm going to take, take a close look at this and show you some pretty neat stuff. But just before I want to uh, carry on with this though, there's another thing uh, that recently came out with this as well. And uh, I'll probably show a picture of it. Basically, there's another edition to this, and I think it's called the the use the Yuki edition or something like that. But I'll probably correct it and I'll probably put an annotation in the the video, etc. But basically, you got a mouse mat, a key ring, and I think it was a couple of extra little things. And the mouse mat's hilarious. It's just basically one of one the one of the characters, and basically your breasts are actually raised, so you can you rest your arm. Yep, your part, of your, you know, your your forearm on here and use it, a base of what it is, which is a mouse pad. Which I thought was quite hilarious, but the mad thing was, it ends up costing the same price. Now, at the moment, this only stands, this cost me £39.99, brand new, because I pre ordered a different game station. Didn't do any pre order bonuses in England and or Europe, as usual, because they never do, because they're pathetic, don't know why. You know, do things like that. But currently, at the moment, you can get this for £17.99 on Amazon, the limited edition, which is pretty, pretty good. Considering for what you get into it, you go. So I'm gonna take a close look into that now. I'm gonna do a nice unboxing, and uh, I'll see you in a second. Yeah, so boys and girls, welcome back. It's Xdan X back again. Uh, basically, now I'm gonna do a nice little unboxing of a uh, this nice little two D fighter arcade of Heart Three. Now let me just get a little show you a uh, little tour of the box. It's pretty good. To be honest, though, this is probably one of the first limited editions I've actually bought on launch. Uh, I do like me two D fighters. Uh, obviously, this isn't going to give Street, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat uh, a run for its money, but you know that's, that's unexpected because you know Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat are you know far superior games in any two fighting sense. Although I am looking forward to uh, King of Fighters 13 uh, when that comes out, and that is going to be absolutely amazing. It is going to be so good. I hope they bring out an arcade stick for it, so I've got the arcade stick. Don't forget into that. And this is still sealed. I've just cut the top open here. Make it a bit easier so we can, uh, you know, get into it. So uh, let's begin. Yeah, weird story as well. A uh, plotline that I found out as well. Uh, basically, all these uh, characters um, are in a futuristic Japanese setting, and um, basically they're all tarot. Uh, they're all based on tarot uh, cards or something, and then someone comes in and. Basically says, oh, it's going to be ended in Japan in 28 days or like five days or something. Then all these fighters end up coming into it and, you know, basically got to save the world, so to speak. That's, that, 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 that's the plot line I've been. I mean, a very confusing plot line, if that. But basically, it's just, you know, save the world, make everything good, etc. So, let's get into it. Now included in the game, I'm trying to get this out, I'm trying to rip it off, off market if I can because, you know, it's new. <laughs> God, why, why are the so hard? Now included in it is the game itself. Oh. That's pretty good. I like that. 
This isn't the first thing. So obviously, yeah, there's the game. It's pretty good, nice and sealed. That manual, I think, is going to be absolutely ridiculously thin. <laughs> really, really going to be thin. But, uh, you know, I made up that I've got it. Great little game to have and, you know, a nice collector's piece of that. And also you get this oh, beautiful, beautiful art book as well, which is pretty good. You know, you can see that. And he's all got all the character designs and things like that, so give me a little flick through that. Just let me get up to the camera. Nice and colourful, lots of beautiful artwork for people get into. I'm not really into artwork that much, to be honest. I'm more into... Well, I am, but... You know, it's probably one of the first art books I've actually bought with a game, etc. Uh, I think basically all that, if you can see it, is uh, basically uh, all the statistics of them and the nationality and all that. And unfortunately, I can't read Japanese. So, oh, also, here's the woman whose uh, breasts are actually uh, raised up. And you use it as a, a mouse pad, which I found quite hilarious. Uh, hilarious. Her name's Mei Fang. But, um, you know, I mean, look at that, come on. Skimpiness on that. <laughs> Bit ridiculous, like. Really good, though. Really, really good. Probably more there. But, you know, an excellent, excellent uh, 2D fighter. It is. It doesn't have a online lag. Which is good. I like the uniqueness of the character. I think the home and, uh, mechanics is actually really good as well from the demo that I played earlier on. Uh, bad points though, probably the, f the probably the plot. The plot's weird, and I think uh, the fact that they're all like a cliche anime, you know, babes is a bit a uh, bit too much for me because I'm not that into anime. Well, I am, but and there's obviously some more uh, character designs and uh, emotions that they pull off, etc., etc. Which is nice, I like little things like this, because, you know, it gives the game, um, you know, a bit more to the, you know, to the, what am I trying to say, to the customer, you know, the player, of how, how, how it all starts off and how it all begins, etc, etc. You know, and that's what you want in a game, isn't it? You want to see all this good stuff, but, yeah, these are all just a bit more character designs, really. The drawings and sketches. And there's some weapon design there, I think. A bit of weapon design, I think it was. Where's that going? That was quite interesting. There we go. You know, the swords and the weapons that can be used, etc. Which is always good. But uh, yeah, not a bad, bad little game. Also got the official soundtrack, which I'm very, very pleased with, because I did actually like uh, the soundtrack when it was out. It obviously also comes with character cards as well. So I'll show you them. Pardon the soundtrack. And obviously there's the, f the official soundtrack there. It's very nice. I'll give that a listen, actually. In a bit. But, uh, yeah, Arcane and the Heart official soundtrack. Nothing too special. A bit of box art there. Nothing too good. But uh, these one I'm really looking forward to, the, uh, the art cards. These actually, these actually have the combos and stuff like that on for the characters. So, we got that there. And there's all the characters. This is Heart Eno, is that? Heart Eno, yeah. And basically it gives you all the... Um, you know, the character moves. I think you only get 12 of them, I think it is, uh, included, not the actual 23. I think half of them is good and half of them are evil, so to speak. But, um, yeah, I mean, some of the crazy, crazy names. Super duper amazing Iron Fist Punch of Love. Don't know if you're going to see that just there. I'm pretty sure this camera is not going to focus on that at all because it hasn't got autofocus at all because it's a flip video. But, uh, yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Super kick of love, iron fist punch of love, amazing heartful punch. This is just crazy shit. This, this is crazy. I'm gonna go through all the art cards so you like quick. It's pretty good. And to so anyone who uh, wonders what the breathing is, etc., that's the dog behind me. I might show you him at the end actually because he's a good little dog. American bulldog called uh, Hendrix. Which is pretty good. <laughs> Crimson Melts and Stra Stained Night. What a name for, for a move, do you know what I mean? That's just crazy, that. What did she call it, that? Like this. Yeah, more character cards there. I mean, come on. That's meant to be a girl, please. It looks like a man. Like, it really does look like a man. Ridiculous. I'm 
bit more there. <laughs> Ten of spades. Dorothy Hartwright. What a madness. That's like madness. And he goes a bit more there than that. Yeah, so, to be honest, for a, for a limited edition that I've actually bought for once, because I'm usually inclined not to buy them, because I don't really see the point in a lot of specs, because they're not usually that good or they're quite shit. I mean, there's a couple that, I remember, um, what was it, the buy years and years ago? I think I got the Godfather limited edition when I was younger at one point for the Xbox, and if that, that was like a limited edition thing or something, but I can't recall any uh, really good limited editions actually being out you know, when I was a kid, or when I wanted stuff like that, I remember having them. So, this is probably one of the first limited editions I've actually bought, and to be honest, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I'm happy you get what you get, and it's a nice little addition to, you know, Arcane Heart 3. And, you know, I think, it's, I, I, I do, honestly, really, I think it's a really, really, really good game. It's got above average, well, it, I mean, Metacritic, things like that, I mean, given it... 86 out of 10, things like that. I mean, uh, IGN and uh, GameSpot gave it 7.5 out of 10, things like that. So, if you're really into your 2D fighters, I highly, highly suggest you buy this game. It's a really, really good game and it's unique. And I think that's what makes it for me. So, I'm very happy with that. So, uh, yeah, off for now. So, uh, I've been X, and as usual, thanks for watching.